Today, we're going to explore and understand electric motors, and we're going to do it by building an electric motor and studying how it works. We'll then apply this to understanding how more complex electric motors work. All we need to get started is a AA battery, a screw, a piece of wire, and a rare earth magnet. You'll want a piece of wire just long enough to reach from the top terminal of the battery all the way down to the bottom of the screw, where we'll also place a magnet. This is a neodymium magnet and pretty strong. The stronger the magnet, the faster the motor will spin. Very difficult. I'm actually squeezing it very hard and I can't get it off of these pliers. I'll put some black lines on the magnet just so we can see it spinning a little bit easier. So this is actually most of the motor that's built right now. We have a AA battery. We have a magnetized screw that's held onto the battery because of magnetic forces. And obviously it's, it's attached to the magnet uh, down here. What we do is we take one side of the wire, attach it to the positive terminal of this battery up here and just kind of hold it with our finger. The other guy, we're going to reach down below and actually touch the magnet itself. Now watch carefully what happens at the moment we do this touching here, right down here on the magnet. You can see right there, the whole entire apparatus starts to spin. It'll slow down due to friction and we can just, when we're ready, we'll touch it again and we see that we've got a nice good speed going. You can see this guy spinning pretty rapidly, in fact. Actually, it's, it's spinning so fast you can't see the, the black lines that I painted on. Whenever we slow down just a little bit, you'll probably be able to see those. Now, as awesome as this is, we wanna now kick it up a notch and make it look even more impressive. Here what I have are two light emitting diodes. They're clear, they actually shine blue light. And here we have a very thin battery. Now, if you hook this guy up in the proper direction, you can see that you have a blue light that goes in there. Now, if you accidentally hook the LED up backwards, nothing will happen. LEDs act as one-way valves for electricity. Just flip it over until you see the light coming out. And of course, I've got another one here. So you see in this case, I've got two blue lights. If I accidentally hook that one up backwards, I've got nothing. That's just the way these little diodes work. So just hook it up until you see the two lights. So what I would really like to do is um, Go ahead and hook this guy up like this and then stick it to the bottom of my magnet, just like that. Now I've got a light that is on. The magnetic force is holding it to the battery. That's all that is. Instead of putting glue there or something, I've got that covered there. And then I'll take another one like this and I'll stick it through. I'll put these guys on, kind of hold them with my fingers, right, like this. And then I'll take this guy and I'll sandwich it in like this. So here I have a little helicopter looking thing. That's kind of neat. I've got two lights that basically are attached and held like this on the bottom. Now, what I'm going to do is hook it up exactly like this. So I have exactly the same contraction, contraption, it's just that I've got two lights that are now connected there as well. So let me go ahead and hook the top together and now I'll touch my magnet. And if I do it right, I've got a nice little light show. And if you're patient, you can get this guy spinning really, really fast. Of course, if you have everything centered properly, everything balanced properly, you can get this thing going really nice. And if you turn the lights out, this looks really impressive in the dark as well. So notice the direction this thing is turning right now. When you're looking down, it's turning clockwise. Now let me show you what happens. Uh, since this force that actually pushes the magnet uh, is dependent on the current that's going in the wire and it's also dependent on the magnet. If we flip the magnet over, that's all I've done, flip the magnet over, then what should happen is it should spin the other way. Other way. So instead of clockwise, it should spin now counterclockwise. So let's see if that actually happens. So let me put this guy here, I'll attach this guy, and then I'll attach that to the top, and now let's hook it up, and let's see. And now it's spinning the opposite direction. It's spinning counterclockwise. And I'm getting a nice little spin out of this guy here. So there you go. Now the question we need to answer is how does it work? At the moment we connected the wire from the top terminal of the battery to the magnet, an electric current started to flow through the wire into the magnet and back through the battery. The magnet itself was in the circuit and electric current was flowing on the skin of the magnet as part of the return current. Of course, during all of this, there's a non-changing magnetic field emanating from the magnet at all times. 
it turns out that magnets only exert a force on moving electric charges. So any electric current immersed in a magnetic field feels a magnetic force, but that force is always perpendicular to the electric current flow. Because of this, the magnet tends to feel a sideways force, which tends to turn the magnet, and that's how the motor works. More complex motors work with multiple windings to amplify the effect, but it's the same magnetic force principle that turns all electric motors. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.